Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the YouTube world, CJ Rose is back in the building. Welcome back to the channel. All right, match number three on NXT TakeOver Stand and Deliver Night 2 was the NXT North American title on the line. As the winner of the six-man eliminator gauntlet, Bronson Reed challenged Johnny Gargano for the title. Now, I thought Bronson was going to win. I really did. That wasn't the case. Am I surprised? Yes and no. I'm only, I'm only not surprised because... I don't think it's Bronson's time yet. I don't believe it's his time yet. And that's fine. Give him more time to develop, and he'll be good. Now, uh, NXT once again did the whole, um, when they're announcing the cha challenger and champion, they did the whole statistics on the side, um, and they put intangibles again. So uh, Bronson Reed's intangible was agility. Meaning he moves fast for a big man. Do I agree with that? I do. I do agree with that. I think Bronson Reed is a spitting image, in a sense, of Bam Bam Bigelow. And it's funny because that's his influence. So it makes perfect sense why Bronson Reed just looks like Bam Bam Bigelow out there. That's cool. I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. Now, Johnny Gargano's intangible is adapt adaptable. And I cannot agree with that more. I think Johnny Gargano is pretty much uh, probably the best wrestler in NXT. I, I, I really believe that. I really believe that. Because the, the, way, the way Johnny Gargano can wrestle a match is something to behold. It's like it doesn't matter who you are, he can make magic out of nothing. Like, it doesn't matter if you're a big man, doesn't matter if you're the same size as him, doesn't matter if you're tall or short. Johnny Gargano knows how to wrestle with you. And that's the brilliance of him. And this match was no different. Now the thing about now the thing about this match is uh, Bronson Reed was walking into this match less than hundred percent. Remember, Bronson Reed injured his ribs during uh, last night, so you knew he wasn't one hundred percent at all. And Johnny Gar and Johnny knew that, and he attacked that he attacked that area of Bronson's body. Yeah, sorry. I was just reading that real quick. Yeah, um, so he attacked he attacked his body. He attacked that part of his body, and pretty much um Gargano was on Bronson for most of his match. But Bronson did have his Bronson did have his spots. He did have his spots. He went for I remember he hit a Samoan. He hit a crazy um Samoa drop. I remember he hit a crazy fall away slam. Um, I'm trying to figure out what the hell is the PB. I wrote PB for a reason. I don't know what the hell the PB was. Because <laughs> I said I wrote read with the PB, roll to the ropes. Theory puts foot on. What the hell was the PB? <laughs> Powerbomb. There we go. Right. There it is. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell was the PB? The powerbomb. Right. Um. So Bronson Reed hit a, cr a crazy powerbomb on Johnny. And Johnny with the wherewithal to roll to the ropes. That's adapting to the situation. He rolled to the ropes, knowing the fact that um Reed was going to go for the pin. And Austin Theory, who was in the corner of Johnny Gargano, put his foot on the ropes um, to, to break the pin. Now... Going up top a little too much cost Bronson. As Bronson tried to go for the Vader bomb. Not the is it the Vader bomb? No, it's it's the moose it's the moonsault that Vader used to do. 
You know, I remember when Vader used to go on top rope and Vader used to do this moonsault that looked really good for a big man of his size. That's exactly what uh, Bronson did. Bronson went for that same exact moonsault until, um, until Johnny went for one final beat once, then went for another one to ensure twice. One, two, three, Johnny Gargano retains the North American Championship. Okay, so um, so Johnny's path to the main roster is not as soon as I thought it would be, <laughs> which is cool. I'd rather Johnny um in NXT build up, you know, have fantastic matches and build up talent as best as he could. I would appreciate that. I'm cool with that. Um, oh, what's next for Bronson? Um, just keep your head up, bro, and just keep moving. Just keep pushing. You'll be good. Again, this is, I can't, no, I'm not going to say this was your first opportunity. It's probably your second or third, whichever it is, but it's not your time yet. It'll be your time soon. Just keep working, keep working, keep working. You'll be good. But this also ensures me that probably Dexter Loomis is still going to be the guy to take the title off Gargano because they still need to do that match. They were building that match for the longest. So that match needs to happen, and I'm pretty sure Dexter will take the title off Johnny when it happens that way. So just don't wait wait on that. But good match. Really good match. Thumbs up all around. All right. Co-main events. Let's get him.